I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download an image from Docker so that you can use that image if you would like in a Docker container for a Windows Server 2016 system. So the first thing we want to do before we even download an image for Docker is we want to make sure Docker is running. Now, in the last video that I did, I showed you how to download and set up Docker. We want to make sure that the Docker service is running. So I'm going to click on start. I'm going to go into my administrative tools and I'm going to go down to services. Then I'm going to scroll down to Docker and I'm going to make sure that the Docker service is running. And as you can see, the Docker service is running. So at that point, I'll go ahead and close out my services. If it's not running, just double click on the Docker service and make sure that you start it and it's set for automatic. Now what we need to do is we need to go out to PowerShell. So I'm gonna click on start, right click on PowerShell, and I'm gonna say run as administrator. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the Docker image for nano server. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can do so that you can see what you have on the box. So the first thing you can do is you can type in docker info and you can see here that I already have an image installed onto this docker system. So I gotta see do I even have nano server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in docker images and that will show me the different images that I have. Now as you can see I have Windows Server Core, so I don't currently have Nano Server. So what I want to do is I want to download Nano Server. What if I'm not sure how to download Nano Server? What if I'm not sure what the command is? What I can do is I can go out to an internet browser, and once I'm in the internet browser, I can literally just type in Docker Hub for Microsoft Nano Server, and it'll automatically bring you to the appropriate spot. So all I have to do is click on this. It'll take me out to the Docker Hub. Now, one of the important things about looking at the Docker Hub, and if you like, you can actually go back one. Let's just go back to Microsoft. And when you're out in the Hub, if I scroll down, you can see all of the different things that you can download from Docker. Well, you would scroll down and you would find Nano Server. Click on Details. Now the great thing is when you click on details, it'll tell you the command that you need to use. So we need to do a docker pull Microsoft slash nano server command. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go into our PowerShell and we're going to just type that in into PowerShell. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our docker pull for nano server. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to type in docker pull Microsoft nano server. Same way as it told me to do it out on the website. I'm going to hit enter. And at that point, it's going to go out and it's going to download nano server. And then once it's done downloading it, it will extract it so that I can use the nano server. Now, as soon as this gets done getting downloaded, I'll go ahead and I'll continue the video and I'll show you what we need to do after we've downloaded the nano server image. So at this point, the image has been downloaded and it's been extracted. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a CLS to clean out my screen. And then again, I'm going to do a Docker info. And now you're going to see that I have two images downloaded. And if I go ahead and type in docker images it'll show me that I've downloaded server core and nano server now the next thing I want to do is I want to just to be safe I always like to after I download new images is I just like to restart the docker service so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in restart service and I'm gonna type in docker and at that point that's gonna go ahead and it's gonna reload the image for me. Now one cool thing that Microsoft does is with the nano server 
you can run a little nano server dot net sample now if I want to do that I'm gonna do a docker run and I'm gonna say Microsoft slash dot net dash samples and I'm gonna do a colon and then I'm gonna say dot net dash nano server so dot net app sorry dot net app dash nano server and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna go through and it's gonna do some extracting and it gives you a little dot net bot so in this video I showed you how to download an image from docker I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author William Panic. Thanks for watching the video.